Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, leader Nelson Chamisa has poured scorn on the latest government claim to revive the collapsed Zimbabwe Iron and Steel Company Zisco. The Redcliffe-based Zisco Steel, once the biggest integrated iron and steel company in Africa north of the Limpopo, was effectively mothballed by 2010, weighed down by rampant corruption, mismanagement, ZANU-PF interference and undercapitalization. Several revival plans announced over the years have proved stillborn. President Emerson Nangagwa announced yet another revival plan while addressing a campaign rally in Kwekwe, telling supporters that the government had secured an U.S. $460 million investment for the company which, at its height, employed more than 4,000 people. However, addressing his on-campaign rally in the same town last weekend, Chamisa said Nangagwa and his ruling ZANU-PF party did not have the capacity to reopen Zisco. Chamisa also blasted what he described as the parceling out of national assets to cronies and vowed to reverse the dodgy deals if elected into power at the next general elections which are scheduled for 2023.